Hello, hello. Okay. Today we're going to apply water slide to one of the um, mason jars. This one I added glitter to the bottom yesterday. I used the dishwasher safe Mod Podge and just the cheap glitter from Walmart and it has dried overnight. So we're going to work with it today before we're going to do the water slide and then I'll epoxy it later. So these are the jars. I got them at Walmart. I saw this from uh, Tumblr Tutorials and I think Caitlin is the one that did it. I got my water slide today. Yes. Can you see? It is for inkjet white and inkjet clear. Yay. So... This is the design we're going to put on this cup, and this is kind of what it's going to look like. This one still needs epoxy, but I've already applied the clear water slide, and then, of course, get a little straw. And then I have some rubber grommets that I ordered that are still on their way here. The difference is in this is a clear water slide, and this is the white water slide. The white water slide you want to use on darker colors or if the pattern you're using has white in it because you can't print white so you need to use white for uh, the water slide if you have any of your design is white unless you're doing it on a white cup then you can use clear which is what I did here so okay first things we're gonna do is we're gonna get the water warm and it just needs to be uh, warm water when this water slide, I use the print and cut feature from my silhouette, so it cuts it out after it prints it for me, but it's already been sealed. We're going to drop it down in the water, put a little bit of water on my cup. This stuff's pretty easy to move around and manipulate. I really like these pointed tweezers. Um, I got them off of Amazon. And they are amazing for working the folded edges that might fold back on themselves. I'm just gonna... And your water slide will move around fairly easy until you get the water out from underneath it. This is just a regular brush, a paintbrush that I'm using just to smooth some of the water out from underneath it. Go back and dry off. And all you're going to do is work all those bubbles out. It is really, really easy uh, to work with water slide. Your first time or two, you're just going to be like, oh. But it really is just that simple. And once you get all of your air bubbles out and all of it's off, you have your water slide on, like I said. This will get a cute little cup, and the top I'm going to put a piece of vinyl on after I put my grommet in there. But this is going to be one of the things I now start to offer. Like I said, I didn't do this myself. I saw a uh, another lady that does tutorials. Her name is Caitlin. I can't remember her last name at the moment, but she is from uh, Tumblr Tutorials, something like that. Um, I saw her do it, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do this. So... This is what we're working on. That's it. That's how simple it is to do the water slide. If you want to know how to do the print and cut to where it cuts out around your design after you print it and seal it, 
through the Cameo. I do offer a tutorial on how to do that. It's on my YouTube channel. So if you just look around YouTube channel, you you should be able to find it. So I hope that helps. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask below. Uh, and I will try to get them all answered. So again, to do the glitter on these cups, I use the Dishwasher Shape Safe Mod Podge. Uh, there's all kinds of glitters you can buy. The one that I used, this one was from Walmart, but they have glitters everywhere. Um, and then you epoxy over it when you're done. I just ordered the epoxy from Illuminite. Um, I ordered the 16 ounce bottles, so that's what I use on mine. You drop your paper in your warm water. It'll separate from the backing sheet. Put it on. You just want to smooth it out and dab it dry and you're good to go. And then this one will just need a coat of epoxy and it will be done. Thanks for watching, guys.